in this tutorial we're going to be talking about fonts, getting fonts inside of Inkscape, and it's a lot, especially if you have Windows, it's a lot simpler than you think. It's basically just putting fonts inside your, wherever you need to get your fonts installed in your Windows, because then uh, Inkscape will pick that up. If you have a, another operating system, well, I'm not going to be able to help you much. Um, yeah, if you have a Mac, I can, but if you do have some questions, you might be able to find it here at Inkscape or wiki.inkscape.org. Go look there. You can also do a search on um, on Google or wherever, whatever search engine you want on your particular type of Windows. And uh, I actually use um, I've got Windows 10. And then you want to look at now where do I want to um, now where do I get the fonts? Now you can simply just uh, type in in Google or whatever search engine uh, fonts or download free fonts, etc. Uh, and but I'll tell you that that one of the main ones I will use the websites that I use is this website, which is diffont.com. has been around for a long time. Uh, one of the things I like about it is that you can search on fonts that are you know various types of fonts but also if you can check whether you want it to be public domain or not or free for, for personal use or if you want to uh, pay for it you can go to shareware version or no donation aware so it has a lot of options when you're searching for the kind of font that you want and you can go through here and look at your look at it for yourself you can also look at FAQs but I have uh, went here already and I downloaded this now when you download this um, it will likely come in a zipped format so let's go to our zipped file that I have already downloaded so here's our zip file I downloaded the Comica title font you can open the archive and extract it. Okay, now looking at your fonts after they're ex uh, after, you, after you open the archive, you'll have uh, you'll either have one or you'll have more than one. These are various kinds of that font that I just downloaded. You can also look at your text file if you'd like. But the, the easiest way to install these into your Windows, which is basically like, you know, it's more or less installing into your Inkscape too, because Inkscape uses the Windows fonts. Select um, select the first file and select your last file, and then right click, and then just hit install. It's as simple as that. Now, it did install one of them already, but the rest of them will be installed. 12 of 12. Okay, now you can also just to check, you can go into your control panel, appearance and personalization, and then the fonts, and go looking for your new font. Here's my new font, Comico Title, Comico, or the Access Regular. So various versions of that font were just installed. Okay, now I will open up Inkscape and look for the font that was just installed. Okay, now we have Inkscape installed, or <laughs> booted up. Um, one thing you want to know that if, if you already are in Inkscape, you're likely going to have to um, close it down and then and then start it up again just to see your fonts. So let's go into our, well let's just type something here. Uh, test. And then we'll uh, go to the text. And then go down and look for our Font that starts with a K. Can we go? Okay, here it is. And there's our font. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching.